Good morning, good morning, good morning, partners. Good to have you all this evening, this afternoon, this morning, wherever you may be joining us from. Uh, I'm simply Seton, uh, your regular anchor for CIG Sunday Night Live, and I'm reporting live from the CIG studios. All right, I want to welcome everybody once again. Please give us your name and the location you are joining us from. Uh, this will uh, allow us to know how. Uh, our demographics as it were. Thank you so much. Wow. So we just had a bit of uh, snippets from the last time we had our participants, Samira. And today she's back. Uh, the session she had, we had uh, the other time was too loaded for us to have uh, interactive se sessions with a uh, kind of um, uh, questioning. So uh, we have made that to come back today to actually pour out to us more. Uh, and I want to implore everybody, as many of us that may be having um, questions, bear your questions towards the end of interactive session so that I can take your questions and ask her. Also, the 3SD will be available to an answer your questions towards the end of the program. Once again, thank you for joining in with us. Uh, before she comes up, I'm going to read uh, profile. All right, uh, Elizabeth Simire has a BSc in education in social studies from Delta State University. She has masters in international law and diplomacy from the prestigious uh, University of Lagos, Unilag. Holy Health College, North America. She's a full-time health worker, a problem solver, a sales communicator. She cheats and inspires. Impact is our mantra. She's a lover of God and a kingdom-driven person. And as an entrepreneur, she's a brand partner with Long Bridge Bioscience International, a Chinese multinational corporation empowering people with entrepreneurial mindsets. Our dream is to raise 1 million weekly earners on and before year 2025 across the globe. She enjoys traveling, communication, and cooking. She's the team lead of Global Champions Club. Currently, a Diamond Seven partner with Longreach, a multiple trip qualifier and car awardee with Longreach. Lizzie is a five to six digit weekly earner with Longreach and she's happily married and blessed with wonderful children. Join me as I make a welcome to Elizabeth Simire, all the way from Canada. Thank you, I've omitted everybody. So just say, welcome, welcome. Hi, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining in with us. Uh, okay, uh, lest I forget, please, guys, get your pie cup close by. Apart from your notepads that you have to take nuggets, get your pie cup close by because when she dishes out all this, uh oh, just reminded that she has just <laughs> taken a sip from it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, we're live on Facebook on CIG Hub. Uh, for those that could not get on Zoom, you can just uh, copy the link, send to your professor, and join us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to Longreach on uh, YouTube, Longreach CIG. Click on the notification button, click on like and subscribe so that you get notified whenever we upload our videos. Thank you so much. Wow, finally, we got you back, Ma. It's good to have you, and you are looking so radiant and shine, <laughs> shining with the sun. You are enjoying it for a bit. Yeah. In no time now. <laughs> the code will come back. <laughs> At least we have about four to five months ahead. <laughs> oh, that, of course, that's true. That's true. We still enjoy it for some time. Thank you so much for coming back. Now, uh, in in the last session we you had, and you are talking about doing six networks. But 
I, I, I don't know what to qualify that because you see good thing, you want to test them and know that. Now you've been on the Long Bridge platform quite some time and you have not uh, cross carpet as it were to another network. What was the propelling force for you to sign up with Long Bridge? <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Saseto. And um, I want to say a very big thank you to my SD, my three SD, Sir Emmanuel Eduru, for this great opportunity and for always being on course with this platform. I mean, the CIG Sunday Life. Thank you so much, Sal, for what you're doing. From the day I knew you, I, I, I saw humility. And I gravitated towards humility that I saw in you. And I pursued you. <laughs> I pursued you until I got, you know, the understanding of this business. So once again, sir, I say thank you for all that you have done for me and what you will yet do. <laughs> so back to your question, sir Seto. Um, what I saw, can you take it again so that I will be on point? Yeah, you've tried some other networks and you've been on the long bridge. You said you had it maybe in 2016 and uh, you've been on this platform for quite some time. So what was the propelling force? What actually, as in, what gives you that confidence Confidence to actually still stay with long bridge Perfect. You know, um, in the first place, like I said earlier, in my other you know, appearance here, I was hungry. I think it was Les Brand who said, you've got to be hungry. You've got to be hungry for something, you know? So I was really, really hungry. And um, in the midst of my being hungry, I was also you know, thinking through my lineage talking about my parents. And then I, I saw the way that they worked hard though. They worked really hard to raise us. Aside that, you know, they were so passionate about their job, but they never had another stream of income. Guys, I remember vividly, I was in school then, and they, they had this nationwide strike, nurses strike, doctors and nurses. And my mom was not meant to go to the, the hospital for that period of the strike. But because of her passion for her job, she went and then she was treating people at work. So colleagues now reported her and for about a year or so, her salary was freezed. And I saw my mom in a dilemma. But thank God for the kind of person that she is. As a virtuous woman. Because I, I noticed growing up, you know, she always keeps our cans of powdered milk, the big, big ones and all of that. You know, so at that period in her life, I saw my mom packing all of those things. And then she was taking them to villages. What she did was she will, you know, locate a place where she has a, rel a relative. And then she will carry her treatment box with these empty cans and sell to the villagers, hang out in, in, in the, the, her, her, um, the, the person whom she knows there. She will hang out in the person's place. And then they will begin to do like a town cry. Everybody come, oh, my, my auntie that is a nurse is here. Come and take treatment. And then she will treat and then she will make money and come home. So what am I trying to say? We, we, we weathered through all that storm, not knowing the difference, but wouldn't it have been better if she had a plan B? So when I saw all of that, and I came to, in fact, I, like, of course, I did several network marketing businesses, 
Why was I jumping from one to another? It's because there's something about network marketing. There is something called time freedom. There's something called, you know, financial freedom. There's something called, you know, owning your life. And I, 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 I knew all of this, but I couldn't really lay my hands on it. So that was why I was jumping. And uh, this one has come, oh, I will jump. And then again, I am somebody who is open to opportunities. I don't close up to opportunities, okay? So it was very easy for me to jump until I jumped into Longridge. And thank God for revelation and everything. When I met Longridge, I saw the efficacy of the product. It was a panty liner. Saseto, once I start talking too much, please stop me. Oh. Because long reach matters. It's, it's, your, it, it's, it's your show. Just go ahead. Okay. <laughs> when I start talking about my story, I don't know who stop. I don't know comma. I'm sorry. <laughs> so guys, um, where did I stop now? Now, when I saw long reach. You talked about, you are talking about the panty liner. When, yes. So when I saw Longridge, it was the panty liner that really captivated me. When I used the panty liner, I didn't even know to put water or whatever. I just wore the panty liner like that. And six months before then, I had this um, spring on my, um, was it on my ankle or my hip bone? It was my hip bone, my left hip bone. And I couldn't wear my wedges, my high shoes and all of that. So when I started wearing this panty liner, I noticed, I mean, the pain wasn't there anymore. It wasn't like I was even putting the panty liner on the place where I have pain. So because I didn't even know about it that way at the time. I was just wearing it for prevention of infection and all of that. And I noticed that all of a sudden, I started wearing my high shoes. And that after a week, was it a week or two weeks thereabouts? We went to church and I got back and my husband humorously said, uh -uh, no more massage. In fact, you don't they wear high shoe again. And I'm like, uh -uh, come to think of it. Oh. Immediately I picked up the phone. I called my upline. I said, please tell a, me. A miracle, a miracle happened without you putting your mind to it. I didn't put my mind to it. You know, so she was laughing and she now told me how that the panty liner, because of the presence of anions, the fire infrared and all of that, it works, you know, into your muscles. And I'm like, oh my God, this is it. This is it, you know? So that was how I started using some of the products. And is it the, the Cordyceps militaries? The Cordyceps militaries, God used it to take me out of a problem that would have been baking inside of me. Because people who knew me closely at the time, they know that I always have this, you know, incessant cough and tata. So at the time I joined Longridge, after my experience with the panty liner, I decided to try the Cordyceps militaries. And um, when I tried the Cordyceps, I wasn't even having cough at the time. No cough, no kata. I was perfectly okay by my rating. And so like three days into using the Cordyceps, guys, I started bringing out thick, thick mucus, yellowish mucus. I started coughing out those thick, thick yellowish mucus. And I was like, what is this? You won't believe that mucus came out of me consistently for about two weeks. And that was it. After that, I cannot even say how many of these cordyceps I have taken over time. And that was how that unknown cough just disappeared. It died a natural death. So I began to see this platform as a gift from God. 
So my, my whole, you know, idea at the time, even till date, is just keep spreading the news as you spread the gospel. Back then, when I joined the, the, the um, platform, the company Longridge, we were doing this um, um, evangelism in my church. Is that self-evangelism? So you just pick tracts from the church, and at your time, you go around, you know, sharing the tracts. So what I was doing then was on, on Saturdays, as I go about sharing my tracts, I'm also sharing my long reach experience. I am showing people the way out of, you know, unforeseen health issues. Because I saw the platform as um, a preventive measure for everyone who cares to know, you know? So I said, man, I, I can't be enjoying this and not let anybody know. Yes, when I started, two things were on my mind. One was the financial escape route. Number two was in a particular area of my health, a particular area. I didn't even think of this cough or anything. And even till date, though I haven't gotten results in that area, but do I have any regrets? No way. I don't. Because what I have gotten from this platform, I mean, words cannot quantify it. I think I should have a pause here, Saseto. <laughs> you know, uh, one of the greatest things of um, this platform has actually brought to many of us is the connection. The connection you have with great minds. And this is no flattery, you are one of them. And uh, it has actually given us connection both far and near. And uh, the experiences we get on this platform, if we start to enumerate them, that is how we find it difficult to even stop. So this is not sugar coating anything. These are realities. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. Now, uh, from, from your last uh, lecture you gave, now because you talked about your hunger, one of the propelling force that made you to come on this platform. And you talked about the products efficacy, talked about your health. And you're talking about the financial escape routes that you're actually looking for. Now, during your, the session we had, find your possible part one that we had, you talked about financial concerns, you talked about to match uh, your needs to your limited incomes, how to manage uh, emergencies, kids' education, coping with new technology costs, uh, fear of starting a new business and succeeding. I'm reading from my notes because, you know, it was a great lecture you gave that day. You talked about social influence, talked about rents, all the bills. Now, coming on board Long Beach platform, from what you've seen over the years, do you consider this platform as recession proof take to taking care of your finances? If yes, what has made it so solid over the years? Hmm. Thank you very much, Seton. That's a very deep question. Is it a recession proof? Is long reach to be considered as a recession proof? And if yes, what has made it so solid? Hmm. For me, I, I, I embrace, you know, residual income to linear income. I, I think that's one of the reasons that I was jumping. I was, you know, scouting for a good platform. The reason why it is um, recession proof is simply because the company pays on a weekly basis. The company not only pays on a weekly basis, at, at the end of every month, they also pay, depending on what you do. And besides that, it was during the lockdown that those of us who qualified for the green strip got that big um, payout. So is it recession-proof? Yes. 
Why is it recession proof? Because at this time, guys, for, for anybody at this internet age, you, you are living and you, 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 you still are in that, you know, pot of poverty. I mean, poverty is no longer a generational puzzle. Poverty is a generational choice. So whether it's recession proof, it's, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's just something you, you, you can imagine on your own. How many of us likes an extra income? How many of us want to keep working and getting the, the 30 days pay? If you sit down to tell yourself the truth, no matter how sweet your job is, no matter how much you love that job, the truth is, if you have anything that will give you an extra income from the side, you will embrace it. it, it, it I mean, person they grow past there, uh, don't be silly. Sometimes we sit down, we should tell ourselves some truth. At this point in time, where recession is looming everywhere, guys, it will be irresponsible for anybody not to have an additional stream of income. Like my father in law will say, that faith without work is an irresponsible faith. So it will be gross irresponsibility for anybody at this time to sit down and say, you know what, that job I have been doing for 30 years, I so love it. Ah, this job that they just gave me today, that I'm resuming, hi, I will kill myself there. I so love this job, eh? I'm not going to do anything else. I mean, you, you need a rethink. So talking about why this platform is recession proof. Since recession, since COVID, since I joined, by the way, in July, I will be seven years in this business. So since I joined till date and counting, guys, there has never been a day that I didn't earn on a weekly basis. I'm not talking about the volume, irrespective of the volume, because in any business, there is downtime. There is peak period, there is downtime. Yeah, yes. So the volume is not the thing. Do I earn weekly? Yes, I do. Do my team members earn weekly? Those who are putting in the work are earning on a weekly basis, nonstop. So this is a company that has got your back. This is a company that says, do one plus one and we will give you two. When I joined this company, I didn't bother myself about calculations though. Now there's when people join this company, they want to know how to calculate uh, a performance bonus. Come, come, come. You said I was going to get 1,500. How come? It is 1,200. They will different, I'm not saying knowledge is not important. Knowledge, you need knowledge to even run this business in the first place. But what I'm saying is, first thing first, put yourself, you know, create your pipeline, build your pipeline. In the, in the, in the part of building, be learning the process. Because it is in this company, that you are learning and you are earning. None of us came here knowing anything. Nobody. Three years, Emmanuel Eduru will tell you. So it no. is. Sorry. So it is. Some of you just came blank came. and we got on the platform to learn about it. Exactly. So don't dull yourself. Don't try to know everything at a swift. Let's keep learning, you know, as we go. And just put in the work. What is the work? A lot of people make jest of us that, oh, MLM business, 
oh, you know, it's a, a thing of bring two, bring three, yeah, and all of that. Yes, I know the word MLM has been bastardized, but if you want to know the true meaning of MLM, join this company, Longreach, you will understand what it means, okay? So guys, it is recession proof. And if you're here under the sound of my voice, please stick to what you're doing and do it right. And if you're here, it's your first time on this platform, don't turn sideways. Just give, see, there's what they call the 30 days try. Get on board, you don't have nothing to lose. Get what you need to use for yourself, for your health, for your household. And then give yourself a 30 days try, either on the product or on the business aspect. And if it doesn't go down well with you, I mean, it's a free world. You can move on. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. Now, uh, the, the way you sounded is uh, from the, for the last seven years we've been on the platform, uh, it looks like everything was rosy for you. And uh, you climbed the ladder to the point of uh, uh, seven diamond seven. So could it have be there were no challenges? Could there be that the road was just smooth for you? Now I'll refer back to your, your teaching in the last session. So you talked about life spaces, you talked about childhood, uh, get good grades. So getting good grades is like, is it like getting knowledge? You talked about the adults, the right career path without any you in living. Now, among rejections, which is paramount in MLM, what other challenges have you faced in the course of this business? I haven't been able to um, overcome them. So I actually have the tenacity to this level. Now this is to encourage some of us that may be stuck in this business. Okay, thank you so much, Saseto. Um, if I say that there hasn't been challenges, then I will be a liar. Aside MLM business, there is no pathway in life that does not come with challenges. How much more? A side hustle, you know? So challenges, yes. And uh, I like the way you put it, aside rejections, so you know that rejection is <laughs> rejection is number one. You know, you can't it's run It's number away. one for everybody. You can't run away from it. And in case you don't know, let me let you know. The rejections are in twofold. Though. There is external rejection. There is internal rejection. <laughs> so when you go out prospecting and your prospects are giving you that look. They are giving you that talk down. Like you don't know what you're doing. Like has life gotten to this, I mean, this level where you now start going out to look for one person to come and join, come and join. You know, you come into the team. You will see rejection though. <laughs> so be ready for rejection in different faces. They come differently. Uh -huh. So be ready for it. And then I saw all of that. And um, I saw fear. Fear based from, you know, how do I say it? Who do I talk to? I had a few friends, but they were not in with me on long reach business. For my family members, it was a no-no. Thank God for my immediate family member. My husband was very supportive. My daughter too was very supportive. At the time, some videos I do and all of that, she was at the back of it all, you know? So, but then that fear was still there. How do I present to people? With the little knowledge I had, how do I go through all of this? I also had a problem of cash flow. Yes, the company pays on a weekly basis, but here I am with products. You know, what should I do to make good use of these products that have come? You see, 
with God, I was sharing with my team members this past week. God does not, um, he abhors vacuum. When, when you, you earmark something, like it got to a time, talking about cash flow, I, I was sharing with them, I said, at the time, I had to go to supermarkets, to go to pharmacy shops, and um, talk to the owners. And some of them allowed me to showcase my products, you know, some at a cost. But I did all of that. Why? Because by the time the money starts coming in, before Longreach sends their own alerts, I keep seeing alerts here and there. Sometimes they will call me. Okay, come and collect cash, bring some more. You know? So all of this was what I saw. And I figured out, you know, a way to get around it. The lack of cash flow, I figured out a way to get around it. I, I, I with my team members, I started going for seminars, presentations in church. And then sometimes when they have like a big event somewhere, I can pay for a stand, you know, and just showcase my product so that I will be able to, you know, get connections and um, contact, you know. So that being said, I also build with love. Because truth, <laughs> truth be told, there is no way you can do this business, you know, and build team loyalty without love. One thing is having to have a team and you are the alpha, you are the omega. You, I saw it when I joined, you know, I saw it in the teams I was added to. So I said to myself, no. So I became active in those teams. I will always post, I will always talk, I will always respond and all of that. So when I opened my own team, I already learned from my upline team how it is when they don't respond. I knew all of that. So I had an antidote. And the antidote was in the place of, you know, loving on my people loving on my team members, you know, I, 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 I gave out a lot of incentive and I still do as the Lord empowers me, you know, I, I encourage them. All of this you learn from the process of the business. Nobody goes to school to learn all of this. You are in the middle of it. How do you make it work? It's like somebody that's you know, does not know how to swim. And then all of a sudden at the swimming pool, someone just pushed him into the, 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 the pool. And the next thing he saw himself doing, in fact, he cannot even remember how he swam through, but he saw him on the side of the pool. <laughs> that is how- have To survive, you can come out coughing. You can you for breath, but you just have to come out. You did it all the same. Were the challenges, numerous challenges, numerous, numerous. I remember when, when I wanted to qualify, you know, like after I missed the uh, US trip qualification, I went about spreading the news with my mouth. That you, you have to, everything has to be in synergy. Your mind, your mouth, your actions. So I was telling everybody that came to here that you see the next China trip, I will be there. The next China trip, I'm going to qualify. And so guys, I was doing that. And one of such days I went to 3SD Manele Duru's um, training. And he said to us, anybody who qualifies for China trip here, I'm going to give the person a gift. I said, that's it. I love incentives. I started pushing. I started pushing. I got very close to qualifying for China trip. <laughs> that night I did not sleep. I started calling up all my team members. Why am I sharing this? I'm talking from the place of love. If I didn't show them love, 
if I couldn't relate with them, I wouldn't have been able to do what I did then. I called them up and, you know, my leaders. And then I spoke to them and told them what I wanted to reflect the next day. I gave them the figures that I needed to reflect the next day. Thank God for the blessed um, team members that I have. You know, did they do it? They did it all. Even, even my able prof, that day she was in the village. She ran from the house. Eh, 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 okay, I wasn't even an FSD. She was like, Opi, I can't hear you. Wait, let me go under the tree. She went under the tree. I told her what I wanted to do. And she said, okay, okay, okay. And th that same night under the tree, she started calling people, calling her down lines, you know. And all of the PVs came as I needed them. And that was how I qualified. Guys, this business, challenges will come. We cannot run away from challenges. We have to choose either to face our heart. Of course. Praise the possible. Or yeah. just let it go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think that has actually encouraged some of us. And if you're on this call, you are facing similar challenges. You heard it from the horse's mouth. And this, there are some other ways God can actually inspire you to treat your own challenges. Thank you so much, uh, FSD, for doing this. Uh, let me ask you one question, and it has to be one response. You talked about the panty liner and the efficacy of some of the products you've used. You talked about the cordyceps. I want you to tell me or tell us one uh, outstanding product of long grip bioscience you have used and you have had a striking testimony as well, apart from the usage of the panty liner, just one. Because of our time, I know it will be difficult to pick. It's a difficult one because all Longridge products, you know, stand out in, their, they, 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 in itself, you know. I already spoke about the Cordyceps Militaris. What about the toothpaste? The toothpaste has helped my husband not to remove his tooth till date. The toothpaste has so helped me. I didn't know, it was when I got to this part of the world that I began to hear things like, you, you know, dental care. I, I didn't know that because my, my long reach toothpaste was doing my dental care for me. To the extent that, you know, my colleague was even telling me when I, when I got here that, you have to use your dental package. Otherwise, I mean, it will remain unused. <laughs> so I had to go for cleaning. And when I went for cleaning, the, the, the dentist was so impressed with my teeth. They were so impressed. Why? Because I, I told them, I, I, I made it clear to them that I use a particular brand of toothpaste for the past six years. That's what I've been using. And they were like, wow. She won't ask me to give her the name, you know? So the point I'm making is all of these products are unique in themselves. So it will be, it will be very unfair to you if I pick one over another. For me, they are all health, you know, preventive health-based products. So it's something you have to keep in your home. It's something you have to use in your home. I, I shared with my team members, there's this cut here. You know, I was cooking one Italian delicacy for my husband and then um, I had this cut. Immediately, I just went to the washroom. I put the, the toothpaste. It was a very deep cut or this thing you are seeing, very deep that would have taken me for stitches. After the toothpaste, the toothpaste first of all stopped the bleeding. And then I started using the, the berry oil and it was healing on its own, healing, healing. This is it. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I tell people yeah. the long reach products, yes, the long reach products are a first aid product. So it doesn't matter if you want to do the business or no, just, I mean, keep the product in your home for any eventuality as a first aid, uh, in your first aid box. That's the truth, that's the truth. Someone said, 
I think I saw it in the last one month or so. I saw it on Facebook and said, it may be angry with long reach, get angry as you can get angry. But the products, you cannot be angry with the products. <laughs> That's true. I will post something like that too. That's, <laughs> you can't argue with the, the truth. You the cannot. <laughs> you, oh, you do that. That's at your own parade. Okay, yeah. on, on a very last note, I, I just want you to advise. Now, uh, what is the role of social media in this case or in this world of multi level markets? How do we use it? Do we just have to be content creators before we can use social media to attract customers or to even talk more about our products? How do we go about this? That's a very good question, Mr. Seton, especially for this time where the internet is breaking you know, bounds, boundaries. Social media will really help everyone who can use it. Personally, I am not too much of a social media person. Truth be told, what brought me into social media is long reach. It was during my big time days in long reach, I was really using social media. But I was even doing it, you know, unprofessionally. So for those of you who want to tap into that um, opportunity using social media to showcase your, your business, yes, content creation is key. Number two thing is you, you have to look for the, the, the community because the truth is there are people in social media that are looking for what to do. So you have to look for the community. And by so, one of the things that will hurt such a person is the Facebook ads, the Instagram ads, you know, now I hear people are even using um, LinkedIn, Twitter and all of that. You know, so it depends on what you are schooled in or what you can pay somebody to do, okay? A few times I used it, I paid somebody to do it, okay? Because I am really not sat down to, to learn that. My, my team, I built my team organically from the scratch. Door-to-door -door presentations and all of that, you know? But at this time, we have social media which should you make very good use of it. Like I said, if you don't know how to use it, you can ask and pay someone who is a professional in that field. I hope I answered your question, Sasuke. Thank you. Very well, very much well, ma'am. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Wow, I would have loved to, to continue. Some things are popping into my head because of our time. All right, I want to call on 3SD to join us. And uh, if you have any question, any, um, bothering questions. I'm referring to all the participants on the call tonight. If you have any bothering questions you want to ask, you want to give between five to 10 minutes for that, uh, so that before we wrap up. And when you are talking about the uh, the dental issue, uh, uh, Sumta, if I get the name right, sorry, uh, just said, after my dental surgery in uh, Chennai, India, the surgeon recommended long reach toothpaste to me. So guys, use it. Uh, this is just to affirm what you said. Um, I, I know of, of, of a dental health worker that she, she doesn't joke with long reach toothpaste. Uh, when I told her about it, I think about two, three years ago during the lockdown, and she was like, ah, we, 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 we are too better wala. And I said, me, give you wala. If you use this toothpaste, because she was doing, I, I didn't actually even know that she wasn't paying dental uh, uh, health side. So I gave her, I said, if you use the, the, this toothpaste and it does not solve your problem in two to five days, return it, I will give you back your money. So when I give inside, I said, okay, okay, don't worry, take your money and go with the toothpaste. But it, for, if it works for you, and for the past three years, if she comes, she takes two, at least, there will be times that she, I said, are you reselling? He said, ah, she has to buy because of scarcity. So she buys three, four, and that is how good it is. I said, later when I got to know that she's into the dental health, and I'm like, ah, but you have all these things, that, uh, all those things, that, some of them are chemical, but this one, 
<laughs> it gives the freshness and the whole family has been on the long beach uh, to face. Thank you so much, uh, FSD, uh, Elizabeth Simiri. We actually re really, I appreciate you for today. I'm gonna call on the three SD, Emmanuel Edrulu. Uh, yesterday was, was a very hot session with uh, Long Beach America. We can catch up with it on Long Beach America on Facebook and get the replay there. It was really loud yesterday. Uh, it was as if I didn't know my three SD again. Uh, when the way it was dishing it out yesterday. Uh, join me as I make a welcome to uh, our chief servant of CIG, uh, in, my, in person of Emmanuel uh, Eduru. This your heart this night is, is terrorizing me. Please don't terrorize. <laughs> You're welcome, boss. <laughs> Thank you so much, Simply Seton, and um, our special guest. Whenever I listen to her, I remember the good old days when we were moving at a point, we were doing roadshow. I remember we were doing roadshow all the way from Ikeja, moving to Kui um, oui. and all that, back to Lagos Island, CBS. You know, all these were practical steps we took to showcase our brand, you know, back there in Nigeria. And um, she's still, you know, remembering them. And you see, the one thing I like about um, Elizabeth is she is very practical in nature. And that is why sometimes when I'm bringing guests here, I try to make it, you know, let people who are more practical than being too academical, you know, come out to tell the people because everybody that is in this call wants to learn something that is practicable and replicate it so that they too can climb to sources. So the essence of us having this meeting on a weekly basis is to see how we could learn from different people and see how we could climb to sources the way others have done. Let me say something here. You know, um, I am not like bragging about long reach. I am just being fair in terms of my personal experience. Long reach still remains the best platform in planet Earth. You can take that to the bank and cash it. You see, any partnership that is not sustainable, any partnership that cannot outlive you, you know, in a positive manner, is not worth your energy. That is the truth. You see, today, she may not be actively doing what she did physically six years ago, five years ago, but the benefit of what she did five, six, seven years ago is still you know, showing in her bank account. Not to talk about the product. You see, just one comment about that product, the Cordyceps Militaris, anything respiratory tract issues, infection, the Cordyceps is number one. Little wonder during COVID, majority of us could withstand both preventive and even in terms of fighting COVID for those that got it. So if you know the value of the product, then you not talk about who is behind the brand, who are the people promoting it, where is their base? Can they be identified? Can they be traced? So these are factors, parameters we need to look at. Long range still stands out. They are fully, fully on ground with a global system of business and trade. You know, it's got across borders, it's borderless. So let's begin to pay attention to some of these people that come all our guests that come to speak, they, are, they have something to offer in different ways. So she has said so much, and I want to thank her once again. And the floor is open to each and everyone that is in this call. Please feel free to ask your questions. You just need to be guided and you will get a response. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you, boss. And um, thank you once again, our guests. We really, really do appreciate you. 
Now, if you have any question, you can put it in the chat or we do it by raise of hand. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to know, um, they really actually enjoyed the session more. So they reserve their question. Uh, next and week, you there, don't want to miss. There is something. Somebody. All right, sir. Somebody has something to do. Did you read that? Yes, I read. I read. I read it. All right. She talked okay, about. Somebody is asking, uh, what is Long Bridge doing about product scarcity? In which country? Okay. Uh, can you let us know your location, Chinyere? Uh, I think probably Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, she said Nigeria. Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah. I think products are actually on the way. And um, we are looking at ending of June and um, July, it should hit the, the, the warehouses. The warehouses are coming back. We had a setback with our logistic company, the third, com third party company that is assisting in um, delivering products. They've messed up so much that we are going back to the warehouse system again, this time in a more structured way. And um, it will be. Fantastic. One, you should know that shipping product from China is not one week or two weeks. And they go through processes. Even when they land in the port, you still need to go through some documentations, you know, queue, gets to your turn, the examination of the containers and all that. So all these are factors that is, so it takes about three months for products to arrive and then get it clear. So um, we are on top of our game when it comes to the Nigerian markets, and then we are not sleeping. And believe you me, there is good thing coming for the Nigerian market. People will see it. We are not talking, but we are walking. When you are walking, you don't have time to talk because until people see it before they believe. So there's nothing we can say now more than we are actually walking. A lot of things have been put in place because number one, if you don't tackle the causative factors, you know, you will not be able to solve the problem. So we are tackling the causative factors. That is why you see a whole lot of things trying to, as if it's on standstill. No, we are not on standstill. We are trying to play debris. You know, we you, you, before now, you will hear that, oh, long Beach product is in the streets and then they are selling it for different amounts in, in, in Nigeria. So people say they are importing products. Some individuals are importing products from China and selling at ridiculous prices. Go and find out if actually they are importing product from China. Nobody is importing products. It is the back orders that people are collecting and they are selling off, you know? So, but the good thing is our product is in high demand. Whether you are buying from the black market or you are buying from the clean market or white market, the products are in high demand because it's all about the products. Do people like your products? If people like your products, they will go as far as getting it from anywhere they can see it as long as they will get it consumed. But what we are saying is if you are going to get the benefits of the business, the reward, please ensure you go with it on PV, you know? In Long Beach, it is PVs. In other companies, they do points, you know, points that is later converted into voucher to make purchases from them. So it's almost the same thing. And Long Beach PV seems to be higher than all those ones. All right, thank you. Uh, Maurice, you've got your hand up. Uh, you can unmute and ask your question. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, good morning. Okay. What would I want from your leaders? I will want you guys to assist me by actually sending me videos on a regular basis pertaining to, to the products so I can have a better understanding of all the products. Even though I, I don't have all the products as yet, but at least to do the marketing strategy, that would help me a lot. Let's go to the YouTube channel. Right? But yeah. your two, the toothpaste is like hot bird here. The toothpaste, as they land there, they don't stay. Yeah. They, the they, they come like soup. In the world. Yeah, in Some the people UK, treat them like soup. Toothpaste. <laughs> so these things is like all right, all right. yeah okay 
All right, and you can try to uh, reach out to Rosa Amaka as well. Uh, she should be able to help you with some videos. No. And no, you can log into our YouTube. YouTube go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. YouTube page. I, I, uh, I, I, no. I understand as well, but the reason why I ask you directly because I know that Uzumaka sometimes they are working, but you know what I mean? I just want, if somebody has some videos already loaded, Okay. Already loaded. They could have sold it we to me at any given time. All the products explanation in details and the business plan in our YouTube channel for everybody to assess them from different parts of the globe because it's on the net. Yeah. All you just need to do is go to the YouTube channel and you will be blessed. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you for that. that can that you type it? It will be it will be put in the. Let me see. Let me type it there for you. Uh, language CIG on YouTube. I'm gonna give you the link now. All right, uh, it's been an awesome uh, night. Thank you so much. Any last word from uh, FSD, Simire? Okay. Well, the only thing I want to say is um, that everyone on this call should try as much as possible to embrace their hard. Be committed to the hard. Be committed to the process. And in the way, in the process, you will definitely find your possible. And don't forget, don't forget to have that posture, you know, because it is in the posture that will help you to repel, you know, those rejections when they come. It, it will help you shake off your shoulders and move on with your prospecting, as well as, you know, having a position, you know, knowing the pain points of your prospects, the times are really hard now. We all know that, right? So don't force anything into anyone's throat. You know, just share the benefits of the product. Let them know why they need to have it. It's for their own good, not yours, right? You already, you are enjoying it. So just go ahead and have that posture and that positioning. And um, of course, the perspective, I will not fail to talk about it. Yeah, and your perspective, it should be, you know, what you say, what are those affirmations? What are those things that you say towards your business, towards your, 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 your yourself as a person, okay? All of this put together will take you higher to the top. Um, one thing I, I came to understand from this business is that um, even selling the product is a product of the mind. It has to do with the mind. You take five products out. What are you saying to those five products that day? Are you going? Are you saying you're going to bring them back? Nobody will buy them. Of course, you should say things in the positive towards your business. And with that being said, I want to say everyone on this call should delete the idea of quitting. Quitting does not, you know, take you to the top. Quitting just makes you back out and make you lose out from the juice at the top. So try as much as possible to keep grinding and see you all at the top. Thank you, Thank you all. So much. Thank, you. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you. We look forward to, we, get, we are getting you back uh, in no distant time. Uh, before the year runs out, please, we are knocking on your door very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you on so the much. final notes, um, I want to thank all those that are joining us from Zimbabwe, from the UK, from Ghana, from um, US, from Jamaica, all of you that have come from different parts of the world. This is why we are global in nature. Let's continue what we are doing. And um, whatever Benin Republic, ah, my leader, our soon to be SD, she's on the call. So you're welcome, ma'am. Um, I want to urge you not to give up. No matter what you are experiencing now, don't give up. Better days are ahead. Better days are ahead. You can get that right from me. 
better days are ahead. Don't give up with whatever you are facing now. There is part of all this is also a global trend. A lot of things are happening in the world, it's affecting a lot of businesses, but everything will be fine. Don't give up your business. Don't throw away what you have built. In long range business, you can actually build and it will accumulate for you. Don't throw away. Most of you have abandoned activation of codes and you are losing a lot of bonuses. Not the day you come and you want to activate. Whatever that you accrued during your dormancy period or inactive status period, you will not get it. So you should always follow these things the right way. Don't treat it as a get rich quick scheme, but treat it as a business that you grow, not a business that you just want to see some quick money and go. Long reach is here to stay. It is not coming to go off with nine years plus. Or next week, I'll be nine years in this business. And I have not looked right or left. If I can stay nine years solidly in this business, it means it is good, it is real, and the products are working. So why don't you join us? Let's continue our journey. We have a long way to travel. And as you are traveling, you are seeing the benefits. Don't give up with the little complaints, with the little things you see now. It will all make you a stronger and better person. Once again, thank you for your time. Let's reunite next week Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Um, I just remembered something now. The time um, we had uh, Elizabeth Simiri in March, uh, she gave out two uh, gifts to two persons. So I announced the following week to reach out to 3SD, but up to now we've not got uh, those two persons. So if you were those that got a gift, uh, we have the uh, location for you to pick. So maybe you get that by dispatch rider in Nigeria or uh, however. So there are two and there are, just reach out to 3SD, whether through your upline or through Instagram Messenger or Facebook Messenger. So as to get the link for that. Thank you so much, everyone. And once again, thank you to our guests. Uh, we really enjoyed the night. I see the chat popping up each moment you pop up any, uh, any nugget. And I'll see you again next week. Thank you so much and have a good night. Thank you.